Today we're at the Burnsville Center and this is back to the 80s and I've got a fantastic uh, truck, fantastic story and a cool guy that's going to tell you a little bit about it. And if you will, why don't you introduce yourself and introduce your truck and tell us about your, your, your truck. Uh, I'm Joe Efforts uh, from Henderson, Minnesota. Uh, this is our 1983 Chevy C20. We got this truck uh, from Unique Classics in Mankato. We had consigned a vehicle there uh, earlier this spring, and we're lucky enough to find this one. Uh, I so, always, go ahead. I'm sorry, no, I'm, I'm sorry, but so what brought you to this truck? Why this truck? Why did you want, I mean, it's beautiful. I love the red and white on it, it's, it's, it's clean, but what brought you to want this vehicle? Well, when I was growing up, I was born in 83, so it's kind of neat that it was, in 83 okay and my dad uh, works for a cooperative in Belle Plaine he's been there for 40 plus years and he always pulled uh, equipment and anhydrous tanks and applicating uh, equipment with it okay and I always wanted something like this when I got older and we were lucky and found it okay now you were telling me this is an original truck uh, come on really it, it's too clean for that. I, I'm, I'm blown the, away. That's the story we got from uh, Jeremy at Unique. A uh, couple in Wyndham bought it new at a, and had a camper dealership, and they just used it to move campers around their dealership, and then it was parked in the winter. <laughs> so now I want to show this chrome bumper because sure. you 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 guarantee me this hasn't been replated. Well, if you look at the back side, you can see there's some. Um, pitting and okay. rusting starting on the inside, but definitely not on the outside. Wow, and uh, you know, I'm gonna show something here, because be, you know, your wife was apologetic about this earlier, but you know, that shows the authenticity right here, folks. So it hasn't been refreshed. It is what it was as it was born, and it's phenomenal. Now, but this is, uh, this is the, uh, is it a four wheel drive? Nope. It's no, a it's two-wheel two -wheel drive. drive. Oh, three, so two-wheel drive, three-quarter ton. Okay, and what is the engine? It's a 5.7 liter, 350. Okay. Three-speed wow. transmission. Three-speed automatic. Automatic. Okay, and you were telling me the interior, and we've got pictures of that, but the interior is all original. Everything on the vehicle is all original. The only thing that isn't original on the interior is the floor mat. We just got that. But otherwise wow. than that, everything else is a 100% original. Wow. Okay. So now, what do you do with this truck? What What is it that? Um, what do you like to do with it? Well, I like to drive it. Okay. And All it's right. It's hard to do with 54,000 original miles, but we drive it. Okay. And this is our second show. Okay. We went to uh, the LGM car show at uh, the state fairground. Right. And then this is our second show. Okay. And you also do the uh, Henderson Cruise In for all you folks that are uh, that know about that in Henderson, Minnesota. It's a fantastic show. It's growing every year. Beautiful location. And uh, so if you're you, if you're out at the car shows or you want to drive down to Henderson and take a look at that one, you can see this vehicle in person, and it's uh, it's just unbelievable. Now, obviously, these are newer tires. They are newer tires. They were replaced before we purchased the truck. Okay. But they're period correct tires for this pickup. Okay, now are they radials? They would have been radials yes, at that time? It was, they were done with all the bias ply stuff right. at that time. Yep. Okay, so you said they use this to kind of pull things around in the in the yard and uh, trailers and whatnot. But in looking, looking out back, um, I find that hard to believe because unless it was someone that was wearing kit gloves all the time, because folks, that's the original paint on the bumper and you can actually see on the patina here 
it's actually the original paint's coming through a little bit, the original body, but on the bright work on the back, not a dent, not a blemish, nothing. I can't believe all those years yeah. of use, uh, someone really absolutely babied this vehicle, and it's, uh, what a find. Yeah, we took the fifth wheel out of the back, and I imagine that this tailgate spent a lot of time maybe off in the garage or something, but... But even the bed, I mean, there's, there's, it's very You minimal. buy a new truck and you would have that scuffed up worse than this in, a, in six months to a year. Oh yeah, I know I would. <laughs> <laughs> and even so, I mean, you can tell it, it didn't even haul mulch or brush because you would have all the stick and brush marks along the side right, here yeah. if they had even like cleaned the lot and threw in uh, tree limbs and whatnot. Yeah, there isn't much for rock chips behind the... No behind the rear tires and the front tires. So not a lot of highway miles. All of the trim, the bodywork is just fantastic. Original hubcaps, uh, original exhaust system and stuff. Nope. Nope. We had new exhaust put on last week by Skip Boleyn in Belle Plaine, Minnesota. Okay. I want to get a shot of this interior because it's just remarkable. And you've not done anything in here. Okay. You've not done anything in here though, have you? No. Except like you said, the floor mat? The floor mat, yep. And the only sun fade and wear is right here on the driver's door probably from the guy hanging his arm out the window well you have to it's a pickup truck come on and you're backing up a trailer but the other door is perfect but now you said you've got air conditioning in this yes today so. we drove here with the windows up ac on 65 just, miles an hour just cruising and, and loving life absolutely yeah. you can't beat that now does your wife drive it she hasn't yet but she will okay all right Wow, this is fantastic. So what is your favorite thing? If you had to pick out one thing about this vehicle that was your absolute favorite, what would it be? It's going to be pretty hard. All right, give me two. <laughs> I think the interior and the way the, uh, the body styling, you know, they had this styling for so many years. Right. And I wish they would go back to something now they called these the square body is that correct yes, yes, and it's, it's pretty easy to see because you've got this huge square front end uh block shaped and everything and uh, i know when the with the engine sitting in there can you pop the hood for us Absolutely. let's take a look at that because what you can't see on modern cars you can't see the ground and you've got all these plastic beauty covers and everything else like this so folks uh he showed me this a little bit earlier and i want you to take a look at it because it's fantastic it is as original as it can be and yep you can see the ground down there and it's kind of cool because you can actually climb up into the engine compartment and and do the work you need to do well yeah i think my wife sarah probably could <laughs> okay <laughs> and you were telling me it's actually got the some of the original smog yes, uh, the pumps air pump, yeah. and air pumps and things on it for the emissions so it, it is that original it's absolutely phenomenal so joe thank you so much this is absolutely beautiful thank you for sharing your truck with us i love it i want to get a good shot of the side here and uh you know what it's absolutely beautiful folks out here at the Back to the 80s car show. Uh, Joe, you got a beautiful truck. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You bet. Thanks for sharing it with us. Absolutely.